Now, Kenya is seeking to increase coffee production to tap a deficit occasioned by reduced production in Brazil, which is the world's largest coffee producer. The coffee revitalization coordinator, David Njogu, says the production in Brazil is projected to reduce due to bad weather, which could push up global coffee prices. Kenya is seeking to increase the average coffee bush yield from the current 2 kilos to 10 kilos in the short term to take advantage of the impending global shortage occasioned by production challenges in Brazil. Estimates show that coffee production in Brazil could reduce by nearly a third in the next 12 months due to bad weather. Kenya is banking on technology to boost this year's tonnage to a record of 200,000 tons without increasing the acreage under coffee. The issue of the climate situation in Brazil, where the production has fallen, is not going to come back in the next one or two years. And we have the capacity to stop the gap that has been created. Through the Kenya Agricultural, Livestock and Research Organization, the revitalization committee plans to assist farmers to incorporate technologies like solar drying and digitizing operations to increase coffee production. And develop a, a, a framework of actually delivering these technologies to farmers in the most efficient way and uh, with that, uh, a method that will give us the uh, best outreach so that farmers can have this information uh, before the month of uh, November uh, when we are always preparing our crop for the next season. Coffee farmers have been earning more from their produce in recent months with a bag of high-grade cherry beans trading at as much as 39,000 shillings. Benson Ruba reporting for Prime Edition.